True capitalism blesses everyone. And true capitalism is the way that black people have been able to achieve in this land. Black people will not thrive in a communist system. It's not made for black people and minority people to thrive. It's made for the elites. Welcome back to Make Our Voice Known, the channel that comes against the narrative of systemic racism, anti-God, anti-human, and expresses biblical truth in a world full of deception. Please be sure to share this with your friends, to like the video, to subscribe to the channel. So today we're going to talk about LeBron James, we go, bring it on in. capitalism, socialism and how that applies to America. So this past weekend or so over the last few days, LeBron James became a billionaire, which is an achievement. It's an accomplishment for a young man who was born to a single mother who was born in dire circumstances, circumstances like a number of black people born into. And he overcame that. And we applaud that. The Bible talks about a man's gift will make room for him and bring him in the presence of great men. LeBron was blessed with a great gift, the ability to play basketball and also the physical traits to be 6'8", six, 6'9", six, and, and run like a locomotive and do a lot of great things and have the vision of Magic Johnson. He was blessed with a number of things. And so he utilized that to propel himself to not only do well on the basketball court, but off the court to invest in things, to be in Hollywood, to be in production. So I applaud that. We should apply anyone who achieves. My problem is when people that achieve, I'm not saying LeBron is doing this because he is doing some things in terms of giving back to his community, building a school. He's doing a lot. But I'm talking about people who have made it, maybe not to the level of being a billionaire, but people who have made it and then turn around and tell other people that they can't make it. A lot of people do that. And they do that intentionally because they want to keep their wealth, but they don't want to teach anybody else how to make it. See, me personally, I have some modicum of success. I'm doing very well for myself by the grace of God. God has blessed me in order to achieve to a certain level. He's blessed my family. It's all because of the grace of God and the ability that God has given us. Nevertheless, I'm always finding opportunity and always finding ways to help others to give back to ensure that the next generation is better off than myself. And so people will hear that and say, oh man, you're expressing the, the ideology of socialism. No, no, I'm not. I'm not. Because what I'm expressing is biblical truth. The Bible talks about numerous references that you should give back to the second generation to teach the other generation, teach them how to fish, not give a man a fish, teach them how to fish, show them ways to grow, show them how you've made it, show them the pitfalls that you ran into so they don't have to do that. So they don't have to repeat the same mistakes that you made. For example, Moses prepared Joshua to go into the promised land. Moses couldn't go, but he prepared Joshua. So Joshua was ready to assume that position when the time came for God to use him to go into the promised land. You see that all throughout the Bible. You see themes all throughout the Bible. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Joseph blessed his family. He provided for his family. Even though his family did him wrong, he provided for his family. So... That is the primary difference between true biblical provision and communism. See, communism and socialism is the idea that the state owns the means of production. You know, the state determines the individual winners and losers, whereas capitalism, which is the where the private sector owns the means of production, is a free enterprise market where the market determines the winners and losers. So the problem is right now, we don't have true capitalism in America because of greed, because of envy, because of the, the, the wicked desire to prosper above anyone and anything, the wicked desire not to be a good steward of what God has blessed us with. We have crony capitalism. We have a form of socialism, socialist capitalism right now, which does not benefit everyone. 
See, the main thrust of capitalism is private property. Private property is what enables capitalism to flow. Because if I create something, then I own it. And therefore I can market and I can sell it. And the same thing when it comes to my house. If I buy a piece of land and I develop it and I can, can farm it, I can produce things on that land, I can build a house on that land, and then I can sell it. See, private property is the backbone of capitalism. And what socialism wants to do is to, is to destroy private property. Socialism and communism do not believe in private property. And we see evidence of this when you look in the inner city. When you see all of these high rise places, projects, if you will, that black people and other minorities live in, that is a form of socialism because the state, the government is determining the boundaries of those individuals. And that's never been the idea of America. In America, it was up to the individual to determine his boundaries. Same thing when it comes to the word of God. The word of God, God instructs individuals to determine their boundaries. He gives them their boundaries. He sets their boundaries. He does that. He gives them, and it's not saying their limitation in terms of what they would do, but he sets the time frame in which they live and it's up to them to operate within that time frame to expand everything he's given them. But nevertheless, socialism does not do that. And if you give, and, and it's been proven, it's been proven people of faith are the most terrible people there are. And that's because of the ability to have private property, the ability to have income and prosperity on your own and not determined by the state. So when people, I read an article yesterday talking about how this couple who have done well for themselves are operating in a form of communism, communist capitalism. That's a lot. All they're doing is being charitable because of the the benefits that have been prescribed to them from capitalism. A lot of young people have a negative view of capitalism. And part of it is because of the greed that they've seen from the previous generations. But true capitalism blesses everyone. And true capitalism is the way that black people have been able to achieve in this land. Black people will not thrive in a communist system. It's not made for black people and minority people to thrive. It's made for the elites. So therefore, we must fight for true capitalism. We must fight for what I call biblical capitalism, using the gifts and the abilities that God has blessed us with and then planting seed and giving that seed time to grow and to flourish. And then we are blessed to be a blessing, passing that on to the generation and blessing others who are less fortunate. See, the way it's supposed to work in God's eyes, the church and believers are supposed to provide to those who are less fortunate. Do unto others as I will do unto you. As you have done to the least of these, you've done unto me, said Jesus. That's the purpose of prosperity in the eyes of God, to bless those who are less fortunate at this time. And see, when Jesus said, the poor you have with you always, it's because he knew that people have a poor mentality and they would not take advantage of the giftings and abilities God has given them. So it's up to us, the ones who have been blessed by God, who have been blessed in abundance, to give back to those to help them, but not only give to them monetarily and materially, but also give to them spiritually, give them the truth of the gospel and help them to achieve and to grow. So we applaud people at LeBron James who has become a billionaire, but we are pushing back against the narrative that he is a one off situation. This can apply to everyone and anybody if they were given the opportunity, because we are not victims. Socialism creates victims. Capitalism will provide the ability for you not to be a victim. In any system, uh, any system can create a victim because victims are based on your mentality. Any system, it doesn't matter what it is. You have winners and losers, but that doesn't mean you're a victim just because you're lost doesn't make you a victim. A victim is how you see yourself. You see yourself downtrodden. You see yourself as defeated. Just because you lost doesn't mean you're a victim. And we are not victims. We are not victims. We are empowered for greatness. Thank you so much for liking your comments and subscribing to the channel. Please share this with your friends. Smash that like button. Smash the subscription bell. Share this with everybody you know. We're trying to make sure people understand that they're not victims. That they are empowered for greatness. And all this stuff that's out here that's telling them otherwise is false and will not benefit them in the end. So please, I appreciate that. Share that.